There's many ways to have precise control over materials without having to leave your main app. And in the last video, I showed you how you can set up a material that automatically adjusts based on the rotation of an object. So now we're gonna go over how you can get more precise control over materials and their blending using vertex maps. And this is the same rock and the same textures that I was using from the last video. Um, it's just it's already set up and pretty simple and straightforward to see. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. So you're gonna have your scene set up, whatever object you want, and then you're gonna set up your material with a material blend. And the thing that's gonna drive this is going to be a vertex map. So click on your object, right click, and then you're gonna to go to other tags and then vertex color. And initially you'll get this uh, straight black look. And what we're essentially gonna be doing here is be creating a mask for us to use. So we wanna use white as the color that we're gonna be painting on. And then you probably wanna adjust your radius and then specifically the hardness because that's gonna control the fall off. If I bump this all the way up, I click, it's gonna give just a straight, super hard edge. But if I have this all the way at zero, it's gonna make a more softer ring, which is kinda what I'm looking to have right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint on where I would kinda like some texture to show up. I got a little bit bigger. And then just kinda paint where I would like the texture to be visible on. Just go around, we're just gonna put it on the top and that'll be good enough for right now. Actually, be a little softer edge over here. That'll be good enough for right now. So then you want to jump into your material. You can get off of the vertex map. If you wanna see your actual texture, you can just click off of the vertex map tag and then I already have a material set up here just with a simple material blend set up. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the Vertex Cinema 4D Vertex Map node. And then all you have to do to get this to show up is gonna be drag the tag into the Vertex Map right there. And then, like I said, we're gonna be using this as our, as our mask for where we want our texture to be showing up. So it, it doesn't show up in the shader um, as to where it's being, like where it's masking, but that's all right. So I'm gonna just plug that into our vertex map. And then if you wanna use the displacement, you have to invert it and set the, set the base color as your um, initial texture that you wanna be using as your displacement. Your layer one color, you want to set it straight to black. And then you wanna use the mask as an inversion because it's going to be just painted the mask where we would want the texture to show up on. And since we can't set a mask on the initial base layer, we have to set it to black so it overrides everything. And then we invert our vertex map so it only shows up on the portion of our model that we do not have painted, or that we do have painted, sorry. And then if I bring up the render view here, get a little bit bigger as I start updating it here you can see we have our texture showing up now if I go ahead and click on this I can further edit this if I get our vertex tool back up use the paint tool as I paint this it's going to update as you can see in our live view so you can get really precise control over where your textures are showing up and fully edit them kind of somewhat live. It does take a little bit to update in your render view, but for the most part, it's pretty responsive and super easy to set up. Not a whole lot of work that goes into that. So uh, if you're interested on figuring out how to get that t uh, texture or the material that I was talking about at the start, where it automatically adjusts based on the rotation of the object, make sure you check out that video. Otherwise, hopefully this quick tip helped you out and you learned something, but got a bunch more tutorials coming, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of those and have a good day.